All right. Thank you for uh, joining Chewing the Fat today. I wanted to talk to my man, Flat Earth Dave. Now, I keep hearing from people. You know what? First of all, <laughs> I just want to. I just want to say first, thanks, Dave, for joining me. I appreciate thanks for it. having me. So, I mean, are you are you you're okay with going by you know Flat Earth Dave? That's what I'm uh, sure. To sure, it's, it's easy for people to to remember, and uh, they don't have to say is it Weiss or Vice or whatever. So, or Weiss. So, right, Flat Earth Dave. No, okay. there's no question there. So, I want to go. I want to just kind of uh, take it as I, I don't want to be confrontational. I don't want to say hey, you know, anything. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to have a fight with you yet. Oh, I want to fight uh, you. <laughs> I want to just kind of go back to the beginning and say, have you, at what point did you say to yourself, you know what, the earth is flat? So the point at when I started, one, one of the points was I started looking for images of earth from space and I get garbage like this. And then when I go to the flatter side, I get videos like this, which is a flat stationary plane uh, from 120,000 feet. And, and then I started looking at, you know, if the earth is a ball, um, we should be able to see a, hori a physical horizon at a certain distance. And I checked out what that was. And for a six foot tall person standing at the edge of calm, flat water, um, it should be just three miles. But not only can we see farther than that, we can see so much farther than that. We can see things that are, that should be a mile below the curve. And we can still see them with today's optics. So we started talking to um, Navy people, um, submarine people, and uh, ships where on the surface of the water, they can shoot a laser beam, um, pencil thin, to another boat over 100 miles away. There should be 6,600 feet of, cur of water between them. And uh, the Globers will say, well, that's refraction. Well, the same thing right. for a submarine at the bottom of the ocean can send sonar out. Well, sonar doesn't refract. Sonar hits something solid and comes back. There should be a mountain over a mile high between them. But somehow the sonar goes over the mountain, hits the submarine, and comes back. That's ludicrous. Right. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so you were, I mean, that was, uh, you were a young adult at this oh, point. Oh, yeah. It was like six right? years I mean, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, were you struggling with it before then? No, uh, never even brought it up. You know, I was looking into, you know, other controversies, other conspiracies, or I like to call them deceptions because conspiracy is such a tainted word. Right. And uh, people started sending me, hey, Dave, have you looked into Flat Earth? And I'm like, you're an idiot. And, uh, <laughs> I, and I would just ban them. If they sent it, if they asked me a second time, I would ban them from our social media for life. Ban for life. That's it. No second chances. And then I was forced to look. And uh, once I looked, I said, okay, I'm sick of this. I'm going to debunk it. I'm going to prove the right. globe and I'm going to, and that's how you become a flat earther. Like today, you are going to try to show me what an idiot I am. No, rightly no. So. Right, no, 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 rightly no. so, rightly so, I'll give no, it to no. you. Okay, because I think the earth is flat. I must be an idiot. Um, and I'm going to show you things that you never even considered. Hopefully okay. you can see them. All right, then... Uh begin i know you want to show me i know most of the time i know as we're i know people are watching this on my youtube channel chewing the fat and you know and your channel uh but i you know i'm gonna post this as a podcast too so uh you know go ahead and, and when you show me the videos we'll you know walk me through it uh, i'll be very descriptive for people that too. are just yeah. listening yeah that'd be great so so i'm just gonna start very simply with um People that think flat earth is crazy um, are right because what they think flat earth is, is absolutely crazy. If you Google flat earth, you get a picture of a pancake earth with a whole bunch of ball planets. No right. flat earther thinks that's the case. No flat earther thinks that they're all pancake planets. None of that is true. You have to take all of that out of your understanding of what flat earth is. So if okay. it's not a pancake in space, what is what it? What is it? Right. Yeah. If we, how, how, how deep? Oh, why? Well, so and when I say flat, we have ocean goes down uh, six miles. It's like the trench. That's six miles, and then there's mountains that go up what five miles or whatever. Right. No, I understand. Um, That's why I'm saying how deep, how yeah. wide. You know, we're, we're I, at. again, the how deep and how wide. We'll 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 get into that. The how wide is easily answered <laughs> than how deep. Um, okay. So what is first? What is flat flat Earth? Um, a pond is where water accumulates in the low spot in the land. It doesn't sit on the top of a hill. It sits at the low spot, and the edge of the pond isn't the edge of a pancake. It's the edge where the land is higher than the water. Large okay. bodies of water at rest lay flat, measurably, testably, scientifically, provably flat. And the, the container of the water 
is the land that's around it. Well, I look at the earth as a giant pond and it has islands that we call continents. All of the islands are surrounded by water, but the water needs a container. That container yes, is the shoreline that surrounds it. We're not, you know, you say it needs a container, you know, you, if you believe in a ball, you believe that we have a ball next to an infinite vacuum with water on it and on all sides. It makes no sense. So <laughs> Antarctica is, we live in the Antarctic basin. Okay. Antarctica right. is likely bigger than all of the continents combined. It could be ice for tens of thousands of miles. We don't know because no one is allowed no to explore beyond it. 60 degrees South. Yeah. No one's traveled it. Yeah, well, no one's allowed to. And then the people that say they've crossed Antarctica are all lying. Not just us saying they're lying. We looked at their data and we proved that they're lying. So here's the simplest way to prove the earth is hey, good. Sorry. Pause for one moment. Yeah, yeah, no problem. How do you prove that they're lying? Give me one example of proof that they were lying. Of uh, the people that crossed Antarctica? Yes. Sure. So so on a, on a let me, I have, I have to just uh, show you what circumnavigation is. Many people, like you can leave, um, you, can, you can head east or west and follow that dead reckoning and end up right back where you started from. That's because in the flat earth, the magnet is the North Pole and the needle always needs to push the North Pole, Correct. point to the North Pole. So I'm trying to push this thing west. West is a circle around that. This is the same on a flat earth and a globe earth. Now I'm pushing it east. If I don't keep correcting to the north, I'm heading south. Okay, so east and west are circles around the magnetic center. Same on a flat earth, same on a ball earth, no difference. Now, if I try to dead wreck in west, if I don't correct to the north, I'm immediately going south. South is every direction away from the center. All those straight lines are south if you're moving away from the center. So, so on a ball earth and a flat earth, you can circumnavigate east and west, very, very simple. Um, but on a, on a, um, on a ball earth, you should be able to cut across the bottom. On a flat earth, that would be impossible. So that's what we call Southern circumnavigation and no one's ever done it. So there was, um, not too long ago, there was a, a pilot that was gonna fly. He was gonna circumnavigate pole to pole. So check this out. And he was gonna go for the Guinness Book of Records. First person to ever do it. No one's okay. ever done it. So he went North Pole. pole. To pole. Pulled, well, pulled, he's gonna go, he's gonna circumnavigate North okay. South. All right, gotcha, okay? all right, yep. Because you agree. No one has North, ever done that. No one's ever done it. And he was going really? for the world record. Okay. So, so uh, Guinness book, you know, so he went to Alaska, to California, Hawaii, uh, Philippines, I think over here, Santiago. Then he went to the South pole and he said the weather was too bad. So he couldn't continue. So he turned around and came back, went up to Brazil, New York and back around. And we're like, okay, okay. he didn't do it. Didn't get circumvented. <laughs> Guinness book gave him, <laughs> gave him the, the, the record for, southern circumnavigation this is all he did this is the flat earth map that's he went down to the south pole whatever they call the south pole and he turned around and came back that's like me saying you know, I, I live on a straight road i'm gonna say my road's a sphere i'm gonna go that way and i'm gonna pop gonna up over back. there right. but i just go that way i touch the end of the road and i turn around and come back and i say see i proved it's a sphere <laughs> pretty funny right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so here, here's the simplest way to prove the earth is flat. No complicated experiments, calculations. No one has to wait to go to space because that's never going to happen because space doesn't exist. Antarctica, they tell us, is 13,000 miles around. The circumference of Antarctica is about 13,000 miles. Okay. So this is the cheapest, simplest thing, and it can be proven in one friggin' day. Get two airplanes, go to the base in uh, Antarctica, refuel. Got two airplanes, you fill them up with Globers, flat earthers, scientists, witnesses, whatever you want. One plane flies counterclockwise around or, or you know, it's just staying off the right, coast. And, right. and the other one goes clockwise. And then you have observers following the coast. Make sure you could always see the coast. Well, 14 hours later, six and a half thousand miles later, they're going to they're gonna meet over here. Well, guess what? One, they won't let you do it because because you can't do it. And the last person to try to circumnavigate uh, Antarctica was Captain Cook, and he went over 60,000 miles, okay? You gotta remember the equator, which is right in here, is only 24,000 miles. So if the earth was a globe, the farther south you got, the smaller those circles would get. 60,000 miles. Interesting. And- uh, Thank you, I'll take the, an The weather would be I'll too bad. I'll take the weather would be too bad to circumvent Antarctica like that. You couldn't do it. 
Dave. The weather would be too bad? <laughs> so you're laughing. You're laughing at how lame the excuse is. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I am. All right, Actually, good, I am. good. That's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, you want another one that's interesting? Yes, this? I do. Okay. Yes, I do. We're talking to Flat Earth Dave here on Chewing the Fat, convincing me, bringing me over. Bring Listen, me to the dark side. I just want to point to some doors, and then you got to go verify this stuff yourself. I could have just told you a story, okay? Don't believe me. I'm showing you some stuff, and then you can go verify it yourself. I'm, right? I'm here. Bring me to the dark side, Dave. So, so if you want to go from Buenos Aires right here to Cape Town, uh, 4,276 miles take like okay. nine hours, yeah. right? 500 miles an hour. Um, but there is no direct flights. No. And the flights that they go, they go all the way up way around. Yeah, to they here, go around. And yeah. then they go all the way back down. And that's because this is the route that they take, right? Because they're not right there. It, it, it makes no sense. And to make it worse, this is a flight from... Where did it go? So if you want to go from, again, Buenos Aires to Perth, Australia, Flight Aware says this is the fastest right over Antarctica. Okay. But we can't go over Antarctica because the planes might scare the penguins and then their migrational paths could be disrupted. We okay. cannot have that. Don't, yeah, we can't don't, have that. Don't, and, no, I, and, I don't want to. I don't want to have anything bad happen yeah, to the penguins. Yeah. So the, the next shortest route would kind of just be go go around, right? Go around. Yeah. Go around. There's a, you know, there's, yep. there's islands way. out there if you have to land, you know, emergency, whatever. So you go there, but that's not the route that they take. This is whoops. Where's my route? This is this is the route. They this go the from Buenos Aires to either Miami or. Houston, Houston Los then Angeles. they stop, the then they hubs. stop in Los Angeles, okay, then they yeah. stop in Sydney, then they go over here, or they go Europe, Singapore, Perth, and it takes like 26 hours. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've flown, I mean, I've, I've flown from the US to the Middle East and to, you know, South Africa. I mean, yeah, I, it's, and, a, it's and, a nice flight. And the routes that they, they tell you they're going are not the actual routes they go. And the way that we prove that is NASA, who lies about everything, is in charge of all of the flight paths. They're in charge of radar. They're in charge of GPS. And okay. that's where the deception is held at NASA. So sometimes when there's a okay. flight uh, from Taiwan to Los Angeles, uh, here's Hawaii. And right about here, there was a medical emergency. Somebody was having a baby or someone had a heart attack, whatever it was, and they need needed to land the plane. Well, if you're a pilot, you land in Hawaii. Maybe yeah. you go on here. Doubt you would turn around and go back. Um, but the pilot decided to go all the way up to Alaska, okay, which was thousands of miles out of the way, a thousand miles out of the way, whatever it was. Um, but right. if you look at that on a flat earth map, Taiwan, emergency, Alaska, <laughs> Hawaii is all the way out here. Okay, so we'll just say that's a weird one. But yeah, there's, 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 there's um, 16 documented emergency landings that are absurd on a ball and make perfect sense on a flat earth. They make perfect sense. Plus airplanes fly over a earth plane, airplane, not air globe, right? And in the FAA documentation manuals, they talk about the modeling of airplanes that they use a flat non-rotating plane. We found many documents, CIA documents, NASA documents, and they say all of their modeling is done over a flat non-rotating plane this book is free on the internet you can look it up get the pdf or i recommend going to lulu.com it's an awesome coffee table book 16 emergency landings proving flat earth that's awesome so uh we're talking to uh dave weiss a uh, flat earth dave and he is uh attempting to bring me over to the dark side i may be there i may be there <laughs> yeah i already uh, got you huh? <laughs> all right good night everybody uh, thank you. It's over. I'm chewing the fat. Thank you. Uh, I just, uh, I, I find it fascinating. So let's talk a little bit about uh, space then. Space. Kelly, and the uh, the uh, unlimited uh, yeah. area of space. So Space may be the, the final sun. frontier. We have the sun, we have the moon, but, but the sun made... is really the big one, right? The sun is what uh, provides us energy and light and warmth. And Wait, are you talking about the S U N or the S O N? Because they sound very similar. <laughs> very similar. S U N. Okay. Yeah. All right. There might be an analogy I'm trying to make there because the S U N dies on the 21st of December and then three days later it resurrects. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Crazy, right? right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I want to share my screen here. All right. And I'm going to show you how the sun moves, how seasons happen, and then you're going to be like, oh, my God, the earth is flat. All right? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. All right. 
All right. I am so, ready. I am so ready. We're, and this is going to take about three minutes. So bear with me, right? Because right. flat earth, right. you know, belief is the enemy of knowing. It's so easy to, to believe anything. I could say, hey, where do I, where do I live? Where do, right. where do you think I live? Just as, as, a, as a side note, for those of you listening to uh, Chewing the Fat, uh, audio version of the podcast, you can always go to the YouTube channel, Chewing the Fat with Jeff Fisher, same thing, and uh, subscribe there and click the notification bells. But you'll see that this, uh, this particular interview and video with pictures, I, I, with videos. I will, I will be descriptive in my, in my talking. Not, so, not a problem. So, yeah. so I, was, I was backing up. Where do I live? Connecticut, right? Okay. Now, do you believe I live in Connecticut or do you know I live in Connecticut? I believe what you there, tell me. There you go, because there we are go. trusting people. We're, we believe what our teachers told us. We believe what we read in the Rockefeller textbooks. Wow. We believe a mm. lot of nonsense, okay? Mm. I do live in okay, Connecticut, yeah. by the way. I do live in Connecticut. So <laughs> the, the sky is a perfect clock. The sun is the hour hand of the clock, and it circles around over the Flat Earth Pond um, once okay. a day. Okay, once every 24 hours. So right. it goes around um, every 24 hours. So it keeps track of the hours and the days. And now the moon does the same thing, but the sun will lap the moon. It's going a little faster than the moon and it'll lap the moon every 28 days. So the moon, its position and its phases keep track of the weeks and what used to be called the moons, but now they're months. And that's, that's um that's that's that and then we turn on the stars we have the zodiac wheel which spins around nice. just like the sun and the moon but it's going a tiny bit faster than the sun and to the point yeah. where it has to go around 365 times before it laps the sun so that way the sun is in each zodiac for about a month so in a month from now it'll be in the tropic of cancer and then a month later it'll be in uh, leo or whatever that is right, right? So I'm going to explain how seasons work, and this one's going to blow you away. We're okay. told that because we're tilted towards the sun, we have our summer, and when we're tilted away from, away the, from sun, the sun, right. we have our winter. That's Correct. nonsense. Did you know that during, <laughs> did you know that during our, our summer, are we closer or farther from the sun? Well, I mean, we're supposed to be closer. Right? Yeah, we're not. We're farther. We're farther <laughs> from the sun in the, in the helio nonsensical BS model, I call it. Okay. Okay. So this is how it works. You have the magnetic North pole is at the center. And then you have a um, halfway between the center and the outside is that red circle. That's the equator. And then inside the equator is a smaller circle called the Tropic of Cancer and a bigger circle outside of the equator called the Tropic of Capricorn. The sun migrates in between those two lines, six months into the Tropic of Cancer. So I'm going to jump it forward. Okay. So we're into June and it's right over the Tropic of Cancer. And we in the inner north have our summer because the sun is higher in the sky because it's over us. Right. So imagine right. you and I were standing outside or sitting outside 15 feet apart in the freezing winter and somebody's holding 10 feet over my head, a super heat lamp. I'm warm. It's high over my head. You look over at that heat lamp and it's lower in the sky to you and you could barely feel the heat because it's farther away. Right. And then if they moved over to you, I, it would be high in the sky for you. It would be lower in the sky for me. I'd have my winter. You'd have your summer. So right now, look at it. It's going over Miami. It's going over Southern California, Mexico. It's really hot there in June. Yeah, right? fires of but, hell. But Australia is having their winter because the sun is farther away. Six months later in December, um, well, I went a little too far, but um, oh, yeah, I'm with you. it's now over Australia. They're having their summer. We're having our winter. It's that simple, okay? Because if it was the tilt of the earth, every morning at sunrise, it should be freezing. But in the summer at sunrise, I could feel the heat blasting on my face. And in the winter at solar noon, I can't even feel the heat at a much more direct angle. Seasons prove the earth is flat. Absolutely 100% impossible on a spinning water ball globe. Real quick, and I'm going to get it out of this is called the Flat Earth Sun. No, it's all good. I'm, I'm happy to be in the Flat Earth Dave class. <laughs> for, uh, it, this is the fascinating the stuff. So, so real I quick, 
Absolutely. If you try to Google Flat Earth, you're going to get Flat Earth Society garbage. That's that's a disinformation site run by the government to make you laugh at Flat Earth. And I just gonna... want to pause for one moment for Go. those of you looking on the screen. Go for it. Uh, I, I'm not sure why it's on January 29th. Because I jumped forward. I, I was. Oh, no, that's I was, all right. But, that, but, that, but I'm telling you, I mean, it could be a sign, Dave, because that's my birthday. Oh, nice. And so it could be a sign. I could be brought over to the dark side just because of that. Go uh, ahead. It might be. There's no coincidences. <laughs> <laughs> so if you try to Google flat earth, if you say, oh, I researched flat earth, I Googled it and I searched all day long, you're not going to find anything. They're going to give you all garbage. It's unbelievable right. how many trolls, shills, garbage. They, 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 I call it, they've resorted to the, the turd in the punch bowl method where there's so much garbage, you can't find the good stuff. But my app, the flat earth, sun, moon, and Zodiac clock app um, is, is the, is the, is the, the, it will bypass all those algorithms. Every day there's a new okay. featured video, short ones during the week, longer ones on the weekend. And then what I tell people is I'm offering two Bitcoins to anybody that can come up with one proof of the globe. But you have to take the challenge. You have to watch the daily video every day for two weeks. And at the end of that, you have to, um, you, if you still think the earth is a globe, which you won't, um, you can send me a proof. But before you do, you have to hit the question mark and up come all the questions you're gonna have. What about eclipses? You know, what about Southern yeah. flights? What about seasons, yeah. which I just explained? Like if I click, what about eclipses? Up comes a playlist of videos that YouTube, Google doesn't want you to see, <laughs> right? And these are videos that will show you like, oh, that's how it works. Oh my God, the ball is so ridiculous. So um, it does a whole bunch of other things. It's awesome. But that's, uh, if you want to learn about it, it's $2.99. You have to have an iPhone 6 or better or an Android 8.0 operating system or better. And you have it for the rest of your life. It's not like a beer where you're only renting that for 20 minutes, okay? Which costs more. <laughs> All right. So uh, again, though, how 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 flat are we? We're we talking about how deep am I, am I looking? We're not. It's not a pancake. I get it. it well, it, we it has hills and, and valleys, but of the ocean, water lays flat at rest. Large bodies of water lay flat, and it has a container. It's the shoreline um, of our so, of, but of the where Wuhan. are we? All right. Let's let's go. Let's. Go. But you know, as, as we as we think of as a globe, we're in this, you know, we're in this uh, infinite universe space, and it's it's forever. Yeah, and sure, you can call it infinite universe. I'm just calling it a mountain of space. But uh, <laughs> so, but to envision a flat Earth, I mean, where are we? Are are we somewhere? Yes. Or are we? Just I'll tell kids? you where we are. We're in the earth system let me explain okay okay so the earth the way i describe it is it's the basement of the universe it's not infinite space it's the basement of the universe what's below it um nobody knows whether it's flat or not because the deepest hole ever dug is short of eight miles okay but okay. what is beyond antarctica like if we live here in this inner area what's in this outer area I don't maybe know. Maybe it goes on forever, or maybe, and there's lots of stories about this, maybe there's extra terrain out there, extra territory, oh. okay? And if we live in the inner space and somebody else lives in the outer space and they came to visit from their extra terra, what would you call them? An extra terrestrial. <laughs> terrestrial, There yes, you go. Absolutely. The words are right there. And think about this. If you're in the Arctic in the center, what is the sun doing? It's arcing around you, right? right. It's arcing okay. in the Arctic. If you're in the Antarctic, what's it doing? It's Antarcting away from you. Sure. Okay. Antarctic, Arctic. They're telling us. <laughs> They're telling us. <laughs> I am in love with that. I, I may have been convinced. Dave, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to come over to the dark side 100%. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I love it. Thank you. No Go on. I know you so, have some here. So the uh, 10, 10, the, this is the a map country. that was found in Hawaii, a Japanese map of a uh, shows our earth with like 30 other continents outside of Antarctica. So there's someone a story, has traveled there. Yeah. Well, the, there's a story on, it's called the Iron Republic and it was published in Florida magazine in uh, 19, 19, like I 1901 or something like that. Um, and you can't find a single copy of this magazine anymore. They have removed it because they don't want this story out. But there's a book. Actually, you can still get it on Amazon. It's just a book. You can't find the original magazine anymore. And there's, um, it's also on free on YouTube. Just go, look, just search uh, Iron Republic by John the Morgyle. He read the whole book okay. online. Um, and it's a story about people in the 1600s that were tired of the tyranny. Could you imagine tyranny? Uh, you know? I know. And no, they I left. can't imagine that, Dave. They left. 
they left. Right, you're in Texas. God, God bless. Wow. Right? The, the, yeah, but it's still uh, it's I, still seeping in more than I want to admit. I'll tell so you. So they went out and they they got lost. They went through a whole opening in Antarctica and they're lost at sea. They don't know where they are. The compass isn't working. And then they found more land. There was people that greeted them, spoke English, and uh, they had high technology, flat screens, electric cars, all sorts of stuff. So maybe people migrated this out. This was in 1901. This was a, and I think that's when it was early 1900s, or okay. maybe even maybe even a little earlier. I'm not. Sh- I, don't quote me on the date because okay. you know, he he screwed up the date. All Earth right. is a globe because he got a date wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. I All won't. Right, so date. let's get back into things that we can prove. So okay. Large bodies of water at rest lay flat like a buoy. I, I when the, one of the first things I did is um, they said I, I looked at the curvature calculator and it said at 10 miles there should be 66 feet of curvature. Now, Bill Nye, the line guy with the bow tie, has oh, yeah. brainwashed us into thinking that the earth is so big and we're an amoeba, you know, we can't see the curvature, but we can see a boat go over the horizon, according to their calculator. 66 feet. Now, there are some globe shill trolls out there that'll say, well, no, because. When you're on uh, when you're on a ball, you know the if you're looking at an object, it's only half of that because you're, the one person's halfway down, and that, that's complete nonsense. <laughs> but I'll give it to them because I don't need it. So at ten miles, there's only thirty three feet of curvature. Bullet Good. bull baloney. I won't, won't swear, um, but I'll give it to them. So I have a buoy that's off of my beach that's eleven miles away. I'm rounding down, Good. giving them another mile. And right. I got a, I bought a thousand dollar camera, super zoom camera, tripod, sat on the beach, zoomed in. There's the buoy, and I could see the water for dozens of miles beyond the buoy. Right. Okay. Where there would be hundreds of feet of curvature. I'm in Connecticut. I can see the Whitestone Bridge, 25 miles away. There should be like 460 feet of curvature, or whatever it is. The, okay. the stanchions okay. are only 260 feet high. The, 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 the towers, okay. I can see underneath the deck, the leggings and the footings of the bridge. That's impossible. They go, refraction, refraction. Right. There's an oil rig that's uh, 9.4 miles away. The, the viewing height is one foot off the water. So the horizon should be 1.2 miles away, I believe. And there should be 59 feet of curvature. But we can see the water for yeah, miles sure beyond it. Yeah, we you know, sure can. No, how many segments of straight water does it take to make a sphere? I don't know, Dave. How many segments of straight water does it take to make a sphere? Uh, you can't make a sphere <laughs> with straight water. <laughs> what would be so? So let's talk about the sun a little bit. You know, right. we, I see the sunset, right? You know, we see the sunset, but it depends on where you are. On the, there's a video I'm showing right now on the high plains of Africa, where this is super sped up. Um, you can see the sun isn't going down. You, you know, when you watch the sunset, you believe you're falling over backwards faster sure. than the speed of sound, yeah. faster than the speed of sound. But the sun is clearly just going away. And as Paul McCartney says, the fool on the hill sees the sun going down, but the eyes in his head see the world it's spinning around. Around, yeah. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. Yeah. So, so how um, many people have you uh, have you brought into the fold? Dave? Five million. People? So uh, right now, around the world, globally, well, you've brought in, you've so, brought in five million. You know, the, there's no way for me to calculate because we're finding pockets of flat earthers that have never even heard of me. You know, we're 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 all over the place, and and never even heard of some other people. So there's pockets all over the place. But in uh, last year in Brazil, they did a um, a survey: how many people think the uh, Earth is flat, a globe, or don't know? And um, seven per- seven percent, yeah, seven percent said they think it's flat. Three percent said they think they don't know seven percent right. well, right. equ- don't equate, know. equates to well when you say you don't know it means that you're questioning the globe you're you're technically a flat earther you're just afraid to admit it so seven <laughs> percent is 11 million people in brazil and four and a half percent is uh, the the three three percent is another four and a half million okay so there's almost 15 million people in brazil that think the earth is flat this is we're going to hit the tipping point Interesting. So, what's the point? Let's let's. What's say the this. point? Why the lie? What's the point? Yeah. What 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 point do we it's have? Just, it's just to for reach fun. This? It's just for fun. You know, they're just so, they're just janking our change. Oh um, no, that's not the fun. reason. So there's there's a couple of reasons, and the, the simplest one that doesn't trigger as many people is um they're hiding more land. They have us. They want to. You know, they never abolished slavery. Um, they just turned us all into slaves and they put us in a prison that we can't see the walls. And that's a prison for our mind, which is the globe. I mean, because if you put a, a fence around the United States, you'd be pissed. 
say, okay, you can't go beyond the equator. You'd be, you'd be pissed. No matter where that fence is, a human wants to go farther. Correct. So they put us in an invisible fence, which is the globe. There's nothing more to discover, Truman. We discovered everything. That's the story that we're told, okay? Right. So that's one thing. The other thing is um, they don't want people in a situation where they can't deny there being a creator. Now, I don't want to go out, okay. out there because they want you to believe that you're insignificant. You evolved from pond scum and you're but even if they're even if that's even if you believe in a creator, you could still uh, believe in a flat earth. Oh, no, no. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You can believe. Yeah. No, but you can't wow. believe in a flat earth and not understand that there is a creator. There's no way because it's intelligently designed, right? The Big Bang at least says nothing exploded, created everything, and then rocky balls happened and, and gassy balls happened and left a vacuum in between. That's a problem, okay. right? Uh. Okay, and uh, they, uh, that's, you know, they want you to believe that. that and, they, and if you're spinning out of control, lost in space, then how, easy, how well can you make a rational decision? I mean, the earth is spinning at 1,000 miles an hour, they tell us, that's crazy. Right. It's orbiting at 66,000 <laughs> 600 miles an hour correct that's a funny number and then it's chasing the sun at over half a million miles per hour and that entire system's moving sideways at over a million miles per hour okay but somehow the stars never change everyone go out tonight mark where the stars are at whatever time put a note in your calendar next year same time save that little star chart go out and look same night same time they're in the exact same position but meanwhile we're corkscrewing through space have traveling billions and trillions of miles Okay, it's insanity to think that the stars could ever remain the same. I'm showing you a, a corkscrewing, uh, you know, all the motion yes. they just mentioned, yes. and this is what it would look like. So let me ask you a question. How possibly can the stars remain in the same position? Are you familiar with the Georgia Guidestones in Georgia? Uh, I, I, I've heard of them, yes. I'm so so sure what it that. is, but I won't get into the meaning of the Guidestones, but the Guidestones have... Um, a basically the 10 command that basically the oh, yes. marching marching yes, orders yes. for the new world order but yes yes with yes, all yes. of these motions going on the center stone has a long thin hole in it right and when you look through that hole polaris is there polaris our north star it doesn't move you take a time lapse all the stars go around it how can we be corkscrewing through space without and that star that never moves the same it never moves are you good with numbers? Can you handle some numbers? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I, I am so good with numbers, Dave. Beautiful, You're beautiful, not, beautiful. Not really, so, but go ahead. So, so we're gonna. The talk people about, listening to my show know that, so it's okay. Right, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about some numbers, and this is where your brain is gonna melt because they never taught you how to deal with this. But it's really easy. I'm not gonna say anything anything complicated. You just have to follow along. Okay. So, they tell us our sun is this giant ball, and the Earth is a little pebble next to it, right? We're a tiny little dot. Okay, and yeah, sun, yeah, yeah. Sun's yeah. big. So if I brought the sun um, really close to Earth, a mile above our heads, it would fill the entire sky, right? It, it would be like, wow, it filled, the whole sky is the sun, right? Is, right, yeah. yeah right. And then we move it where they tell us 93 million miles away. So you move it, it goes from filling the entire sky and it gets smaller. Why? Because it's getting going farther away. Farther perspective. Away. Okay. So at 93 million miles, the sun went from the entire sky to the size of a coin held at arm's length. You with me? Yeah. Okay. If I doubled the distance, how much smaller would it get? <laughs> well, obviously, it's going to get smaller. All right. If I made it, would you agree that if I made it 24 times farther, you couldn't see it? Sure. Scientifically, we can sure. prove that it's angular size. All right. Forgetting yeah, the brightness issue, um, you could see it. So 24 times farther just away. setting the brightness issue aside. It, ex excluding it because light diminishes rapidly. when you Every time you double the distance, it's a quarter of the brightness. But we'll just pretend that light can travel okay. forever All right. because that's what we've been brainwashed to believe. <laughs> so 24 times farther, that's three light hours, okay? So right. the, the sun, because it's eight light minutes away times 24, is three light hours, okay? So three light hours, you cannot see the sun at three light hours. Now, they tell us Polaris. Okay is 46 times bigger than the sun. So three light hours times 46 to make it to make it equally as small okay. is six light days. I'm rounding, I'm rounding, I'm rounding I'm up. With, yeah, I'm with you. All right, so Polaris would be scientifically provably unvisible, you ignoring the brightness at issue yeah. at six light days away. They tell us it's 433 light years away. Right. And this, this, this is, poppycock nonsense that we've all believed because 
Um, just like you believed I was in Connecticut because you trusted me. That was a good choice. I did. We I trusted did. our teachers who are not bad people. They're just indoctrinated. They're the ones that memorized and regurgitated the Rockefeller nonsense the best. Okay. You know, the so Rockefeller nonsense. The Rockefeller nonsense. He knew that bastard. <laughs> that, oh, they know. They know. They know. They, they know. know. All yeah. right. <laughs> I appreciate the class, Dave. I uh, it is, goes there, on. is there is there oh, really? I can keep going. Whatever really? you, you want to go a little longer. Or? No, no, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, you're pulling me to the dark side. You're, I, you're pulling me to the dark side. He, he, I have a well, feeling that people listening to chewing the fat may be coming along for the ride. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, well, people get very triggered because nobody likes having their ball taken away. All right. Right. And, uh, and, uh, and nobody likes real admitting they've been lied to their entire life, but I'm not ripping the world out from underneath you. I'm giving you a foundation to stand on. I mean, close you're your kidding. eyes, it's a larger world. I'm giving you a larger, more stable word that you're right. at the center of creation and science goes, anyone that thinks that you're at the center of creation is just egotistical. You know, that's, that's crazy in such a large universe. There have to be other worlds and other people. They're trying to diminish God's creation. Okay. You are at the center of creation. You have free will and nobody can take that from you, right? right? The only power that anybody, government, has over you is in your mind. Imagine if everybody woke up tomorrow and goes, you know what? Government, we're not going to listen to anything they say. What could they do? They, they couldn't, couldn't do anything. do a thing. Right? They couldn't do a thing. You know what else? Money, dollar bills are in your imagination. It's good to have them because guess what? I can go to somebody with a hundred dollars well, and services, trade it for right? some I mean, food, goods you know, and services, right. Not yeah. a lot of food. And soon it'll be a lot less no, food. I know, but I mean, we do right. use it for, you know, for but, but, but it's a belief it system and everybody food. believes in it. There's nothing backing it. Okay. Other right. than faith, other than belief. And that's the same thing with authority. Nobody has authority over you. And guess what? They're not allowed to, to break your free will. They know the rules of this place. And that's why they, yeah. that's how they get away with um, what they, you know, have keeping us as prisoners. Cause we've all agreed to it. We, they tell us what they're doing and all of the events that happen, all of the deceptions and this, they always tell us, I mean, I could show you stuff from NASA. They're constantly telling us that they're faking space constantly. I mean, if you look at one example, one example would be one the, example right now, the, the, the photo that was on everyone's iPhone, it's, called the, space. it's called the blue marble, right? And that's the blue a, and, marble. Yeah. And that was created by a guy by the name Robert Simmons, who was a va NASA visual artist. And he explained how he made it in Photoshop from pages of data. Okay. And then he was very not good at Photoshop. He, he stepped and repeated the same clouds again and again. Okay. <laughs> the same clouds. <laughs> Uh, right uh, what about uh, okay what about our uh, we're taking shots we're being told that we're looking at uh photographs from space right of our planet yeah so so when you compare the blue marble to the next photo that they gave us the united states becomes twice the size now some people go well that's because of the optical lens yeah, and, and it's at sure. a different angle when the the top one which is bigger it's rolled away it should actually get smaller if i roll it away it gets smaller it doesn't get bigger Close um to. But, but there's a way we can uh, actually check that um, because you know, since we can't go into space, you can look at, as I'm trying to find my, uh, my image, um, we can look at that and we can measure, um, like it, it's showing Mexico okay. and um, where the heck is my picture? Uh, it's, showing, it's showing Mexico and um, Baja right here. And we can measure this. So if we measure from okay. here to here on a map, it's 790 miles, whatever. Whatever supposed well, they, to be, yeah. They tell us the diameter of the earth is 7,000, um, 7, yeah, 7,900, whatever, whatever it is. We should be able to fit eight and a half of these segments in between in the, globe, the diameter. Yeah. And it, right. goes, it goes like all the way out over here, right? I have a, a good, um, <laughs> here it is, here it is, here it is. So we can measure Baja across Mexico. Right. We can That's actually verify amazing. it. And so I should be able to fit eight and a half of these in between this, this. So this is a crappy painting. That's all it is. A crappy, a crappy painting, right? Um, all right. So, uh, I, you know what? I, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, go, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, 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 no. One more screen. I know you're ready to go. Give me uh, one more. Um, I'm, I'm looking for. Um, I, think I appreciate the class uh, of, uh, of uh, Flat Earth yeah. from you, Dave. Flat Earth, Dave. For people that want uh, more information 
on this and i don't know i mean i can imagine yeah. that there are definitely people who want more information after this class from you today on chewing the fat 1978 uh, 1978 okay, image I'll, I'll tell you last one 1978 image 2017 image okay same clouds same exact clouds look same clouds. <laughs> same clouds they stop. They're, they're the worst they, they don't care. And I think they do this on purpose. I think they do it on purpose. The messages were always there. We always yeah. told, we always yeah. let you know. One, one more, Vern, Werner, Werner von that. Bonn, the, yep. the German uh, Nazi scientist yep. that was brought yep. over yep. during Project Paperclip yep. to run NASA. Yep. Um, I don't believe that whole story. I believe it's just a story, but that's the story they tell us. Okay. Um, he wrote a book in 1957 called Project Mars. Okay. Right. And it was a story about a bunch of people that went to Mars uh, and started a colony on Mars. Okay. And the, the head of that group was named Elon. Okay. Right. Elon Musk built this rocket. This yep. is fake. It's all fake. Um, that's going to go to Mars. And a month ago, he tweeted, I want to redesign it and make it pointier. They're mocking us. <laughs> They're mocking us. If you look at the 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 logo for Star um, Space Force, it's the Space Force, it's the yeah. same as Starfleet Command. They're mocking yes, us. Yes, I know. Yeah, we, we talked about that. They're them. mocking yeah. us every way to every way, all over the place. So, again, if you want to learn about flat Earth, uh, yes. you go to the flatearthpodcast.com. That's my website. It's my Instagram. It's my Facebook page. The Flat Earth Podcast. Um, you want to get the app. It's the Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app by yes. Blue Water Bay. On Android, they already have the Flat Earth Society by Ron Media Group has a um, app by the same name, same some of the same graphics. It's horrible. I think it's free. Don't send me an email telling me my app sucks because my app is the highest rated app in the app store. <laughs> if you're unsure about the $2.99, just read the reviews, okay? okay. Highest rated right. app in both stores. All right. All right. I, I will not have that. <laughs> I will not have those complaints like that from this show. I won't right. have it. And, and one last thing, you're going to get trolled. I have a team of CIA trolls that follow me from interview to interview. Okay. They're going to comment on every comment and they're just going to, they're going to blow up your comment section. Okay. And they're going to, and they're going to say things. Dave's right. a scammer. His app is stupid. It's been debunked. Go to Wolfie 6020's channel, another shill, you know, blah, 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 all this okay. stuff. But never once do they offer a single globe proof. I say, is that your glass broke best glow proof? You know, they call me, you know, whatever. They insult me. They have nothing. Go to, and, and the ones that comment the most, go to their channel. They have zero content on their channel. I call those the complete globe proof channels because they have yeah, no content. Yeah. Dave so. Weiss, Dave Weiss, Flat Earth Dave, thank you so much for chewing the fat and the class today. You took us all <laughs> to class and I really appreciate it. The presentation was awesome. Thank all you right. for your time, Matt. I really appreciate it. You got it. Thanks so much, man. The Flat Earth Sun and Moon Clock App. A dynamic new app to teach family and friends about where they actually live. The sky is a perfect clock. The sun measures the hours and days. The moon measures the weeks and months. The star constellations measure the seasons and years. 12-12 or 24-hour clock face. Or go hands-free. The Flat Earth Sun, Moon and Zodiac Clock app with new added features. World Time. See what time it is all around the Flat Earth. A true Earth compass that shows true navigation across and around the flat Earth plane. Weather. Tap for detailed local weather information. Know what phase and where the moon is at all times. Watch the sun travel between the tropics for the seasons. Select an amazing background. Add your own or have the app change it to a new one automatically every time you use the app. Add a countdown to your next big date. Learn the truth about our world with the featured video of the day. Web button for additional Flat Earth related features from the mythical curve calculator all the way to Tartaria. While talking to friends, easily pull up pictures that expose the globe lie and shine light on the Flat Earth truth. Video playlists in different languages. See the real trade winds circling the Flat Earth and clean screen features. Simply click off the items you don't wish to see. The Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app is the best tool to show your friends and strangers how our Flat Earth actually works.